um, your host for the podcast. Looking forward to talking with you today. Thank you again for joining me. I won't take up a lot of your time this afternoon. Um, but before I get started, I want you to give me just a brief introduction about yourself, and then I'll jump right into the questions. Okay, yeah, thank you so much for having me on today. My name is Gabriela Taronis. I'm a 16-year-old junior. I'm from California. I go to Los Alamitos High School. I'm committed to San Diego State University. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for that. So yeah, let's start out with that recruiting process for you and how that was. We kind of always start there for somebody that's uh, committed like yourself. Um, so just kind of take me through that process for you, your family, just how that everything was and how it all played out. Okay. Yeah. Um, I definitely think everyone's journey is different, but I started with emailing a bunch of different schools, wide range. Uh, I went to a lot of different camps, combined clinics, you know, just constantly posting on social media. September 1st, I received those calls and texts that every athlete hopes for, but San Diego State was not one of those schools. Um, I went on visits. I attended a San Diego State camp towards the end of September. And after the camp, I got a call from Coach Vic wanting me back on campus for a visit. Uh, during my visit, I knew San Diego State was the place for me because I wanted to be away from home, but not too far. I can still go home whenever I want. Uh, it's close to the beach. The coaches are amazing. The team atmosphere was very energetic, and overall, it just felt right. Um, I did not commit like right when they offered me because it was a very hard decision for me between the different schools. And my sister, uh, she's a senior now in high school, and she's committed to Long Beach. And it was always like a dream of ours to like play together. Yeah. So that made it a little bit harder. But overall, I knew like San Diego State was where I was supposed to end up. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing that. And yeah, you're you're so right. It's uh, it's definitely a different journey for everybody. You know, there's just so many different things that happen between that and um, especially like I mean, obviously, like you talked about, we've heard of people having the siblings there to. Uh, I mean, that's cool because uh, is she one year younger? Older. One year older. Well, older. Okay. So, yeah, that's awesome. So, I mean, and I'm sure that was kind of made it difficult, like you said, to kind yeah. of pick that. But like you said, you found where you want to go. So thank you for sharing that. Now I want to ask you just what keeps you motivated daily to kind of keep, you know, getting up and, you know, whether it's school, whether it's softball, whether no, no matter what it is, you're putting in a lot of work for these things because you're playing at a high level. So what keeps you motivated every day to keep doing those things? I think self-motivation is a really big but my parents play a big role in motivating me every day just to like go to school get good grades practice like get better and always push myself to be my best but also like my teammates around me like they push me to be better the people that play my same position they push me to be better and just everyone that surrounds me really motivates me awesome thank you for that so now I'm gonna ask you and obviously this answer for you is gonna probably change throughout your playing career especially when you get to college but but as of right now what would you consider like your biggest strength when you step onto the field um I think it would be my hitting but it is very easy easy to get into a hitting slump yeah uh, but when that happens I know that I need to pick it up with my defense so I don't fall into a hole or get distracted I got you okay and then for you uh, and this is one of those things also that you're going to learn a ton more you know as you keep playing but as of right now, what has the sport of softball, you know, being on a team, but, you know, the adversity that it's, you know, you go through the ups and downs. What has that taught you that you use in like kind of your everyday life? I think overall softball has helped me become a better person. Uh, it's a game of failure and it taught me to quickly forget about mistakes because if I am in my head, I will not perform for my team like I should. It has also taught me really good communication skills just through like talking to different coaches different college coaches and just travel coaches, high school coaches, and all these different athletes. Yeah, and I think, uh, and the last thing you said there, I've heard that a lot because, I mean, you kind of talked about this in your recruiting uh, story there. Like, you you do have to get yourself out there, put yourself out there. You're going to camps, you're talking to people. So I think that, like, I, I know I remember we're talking to somebody who said, you know, they just didn't talk at all, and then they started doing all these things, and they kind of came out of, you know, their shell there to talking to everybody. So now – I want to ask you, what is something for you? Um, you talked about your strength being, uh, you know, some hitting, and you, you know, you've been working on your defense too and everything. But what is something for you specifically that you've really been trying to like hone in on and work on lately? So I was always like the quiet one on the field, didn't really talk too much. You know, I just put to myself. But 
Um, I've been really trying to work on my voice because as a catcher, I know I need to be loud and energetic. And if I want to be seen on the field, I need to use my voice and I need to be loud for my teammates around me too. It just makes the game more fun, I think. Yeah, and especially, I mean, like you said, for that position, you know, I've I've been to a lot of games where I've seen that, you know, the catcher just kind of, you know, because you're seeing everything, you know, you can kind of see everything, the defense and everything. Um, so I like that, that you're, you're, you're saying, you know, hey, I want to work on this. So now I'm going to transition to a little fun part of the interview, the, some rapid fire questions for you, just to get to know you a little more. Uh, give me your favorite movie. Mm, I think Sam was my favorite. I always just tend to watch that with my family as a little kid. <laughs> awesome. And then if you could have one superpower, what would you choose? I think it'd be really cool to fly because I would be able to see the world from a point of view and it would be a lot faster to get places. <laughs> yes, that, that would definitely be key. Uh, what is your favorite time of year? So where you're at right now, what is your favorite time of year up there? Um, Definitely summer is my favorite time of the year because it, I think it's the most competitive time of the year with softball and just sports. And all the traveling involved with softball adds a lot of fun and good memories. Yeah, I mean, I mean, because it really you can't get much better than that. The traveling, playing your sport, and the weather is just always great. Um, yeah. So that's that's definitely a great thing. Uh, what about when you try to get away from everything? You know, playing everything. What is your favorite thing to do to kind of relax to get away? Uh, I really like to go to the beach with my sister. Even if I don't get in the water, I like to hear the waves. Maybe read a book. It just helps me forget about everything else in the world and just be in that moment and relax. Awesome. And then last one I got for you, uh, give me a favorite athlete of yours, somebody you kind of watch more. I mean, it's going to be past or present now, somebody you look up to, somebody like that. I think a lot of athletes have really great qualities, but Deja Moli Pola played with one of my older sisters when they were younger. So I kind of like grew up around her. And as a catcher and a hitter, I really look up to her on and off the field. Awesome. Well, thank you for answering those and having some fun with me. So I got to ask, um, what what is your kind of sibling rivalry like? Do y'all compete against each other a lot? Are y'all always fighting for a position and stuff? So me and my sisters are really spread out besides the one that's a senior. And we do, we're really competitive, but we push each other really hard to like be better. And we're always by each other's side. She's an outfielder. I'm a catcher. So we really push each other every day. Yeah, and I mean, and that's one of the keys to having that, you know, especially somebody that's so close like a sister is to have that where you can push each other to, to do that, you know, like you said. So before I let you go, I want to ask you kind of what's going on in your life right now and what are you kind of looking forward to coming up? So um, actually tomorrow I play my first round CIF high school game. Okay. So it was supposed to be last week, but we got rained out a couple of times. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then we're starting up with travel season now. So we'll be able, we're like on the grind. We're getting back to games. We play games in three weeks. And I think getting back to those games are going to be really fun. Awesome. So, yeah, I mean, there, there's really no no rest there. You're kind of, and bam, let's go to travel. Because you said three weeks. I think you're starting yeah. there. So that's awesome. This afternoon, I loved getting to know you a little bit more. I look forward to getting that posted and letting people kind of get to know you too. So thank you again and have a good rest thank of your day. Thank you, you too. You're welcome. See ya.